In this video, I'm going to show you how to carry out an electrophilic addition reaction with a conjugated diene. A conjugated diene is basically a carbon chain with two double bonds that are adjacent to the same single bond. And this adds stability to the overall molecule. So I'm going to start with the easiest of these reactions, and that's 1,3-butadiene with a hydrobromic acid here. Um, so this is going to follow the usual Markovnikov type rulings. Uh, this electron pair right here creating this bond is going to leave to the bromine and create this hydrogen cation which is going to accept one of these electron pairs from the double bond. Now keep in mind this is going to create a positive carbocation on one of these carbons, and you want that to be on the more substituted carbon. That is the one that has less hydrogens and more R groups attached. So this one right here has two carbon groups compared to this right here, which only has the one carbon. So what this is going to create over here, this double bond is still going to be here, and it's going to create a positive carbocation here, and the hydrogen has added to this spot over here. But if you notice right here in this intermediate phase, you can add this double bond pair of electrons over to create this resonance hybrid kind of thing. And uh, this creates this equilibrium state with another form, which is just like this, where the positive carbocation is here on the end. So now that we have those two forms created, this bromine anion is going to add both, to both of those forms and create on this uh, molecule it's going to create a structure that looks like that where the bromine is added to that second um, that second carbon and it's also going to create another uh, molecule where the double bond is in the center, the bromine is on the last fourth carbon, and that hydrogen is bonded still to that first carbon. So this right here is going to be called the 1,2 form, because the hydrogen has added to the first carbon here, and the bromine added to the second carbon next to it. This right here is going to be called the 1,2 for orientation because that hydrogen also added to the first one here but the bromine instead added to the fourth carbon here due to the resonance between these two so your resulting uh, products are going to be these two right here so when adding a halide gas the reaction is pretty similar uh, you're going to take these bonding electrons and you're going to push them over to this chlorine here. Which is going to create this chlorine anion and a chlorine cation. Now, one of these bonds over here is going to contribute its electrons to the chlorine cation. And this chlorine is going to attach to the first position up here, uh, which is going to give you this product, or this intermediate rather, which is chlorine here a positive carbocation on the second carbon and your other double bond. Now again, this creates that resonance structure. So this is going to be in equilibrium with the other form. Chlorine at the top first position, the double bond at the second position, uh, and the positive charge at the fourth carbon. So these intermediate forms are then going to combine 
our chlorine anion here. And this chlorine on the first form is going to attach to that second carbon. And that's going to give us the 1, 2 chlorine formation. And also it's going to attach to the second form down at the bottom here and give us our 1, 4 dichloro conformation there. This last reaction actually changed around to two ethyls so that we can focus on this conjugated diene with a little asymmetry thrown in as well. Um, so this is going to do the same thing we've been doing. Electrons push over to the bromine, create this hydrogen cation. Now this hydrogen cation can add over here, which I'm going to do first. These electrons are going to add to the hydrogen. Uh, this is going to create double bond here with a positive carbocation on the second carbon, as well as our ethyl group. And this is going to be in resonance right here with this other structure. And that's basically going to put the carbocation on the fourth carbon down here. But also, if you look back here, you can see this asymmetry also means we have to consider this other double bond. So this double bond might come over here and give its electrons to the hydrogen, which would also create, uh, give me one sec, it would also create this molecule right here. Uh, where the positive charge is on this second carbon down here. And that's going to create resonance with this molecule. Hold on one sec. Uh, right here, yeah. So positive charge is here up on the fourth carbon. Now when we add these bromine anions uh, up on this molecule, these two molecules, these two resonance forms, we're going to get two different molecules as a result. Bromine is going to add to this one. That's going to give us bromine here and the ethyl group, as well as if the bromine were to add over here to this fourth carbon, it's also going to give us ethyl here, double bond here, and the bromine down here. Now if you look at this last resonance form, there's actually, uh, this resonance is symmetrical to this resonance right here if you just flip the molecule over. So if you added bromine to either one of these, it would create the same product. So we're only going to have a third product that is this right here. Because if we were to flip this product, sorry, one more. If we were to flip this product over, this the product of this molecule is going to be the same as the product of this molecule right here. So that's it for uh, electrophilic additions with conjugated dienes. So if you like the video and you think it helped you out, you can donate via PayPal to my email address here, mcemcdb at yahoo.com. Also be sure to follow me here on the YouTube channel, or you can go to my blog and follow me there. I'll link to it in the info section. So good luck to you all in your classes, your tests, or whatever.